So this is the very end of the video, actually, and I tried to neaten up the area a little bit. I'm showing you that um, these are the candlestick holders. I have one large candle on it and one medium-sized candle on it, just for the sake of the video, to show you that they are usable. Um, I love the way that they came out. They're very rustic and traditional all at the same time. The red roses here are the ones that I made. And then I added a lot of flourishes from Michael's, though they are the uh, spackled, sparkly type of flourishes that are on a wire like leaves. And then some green leaf flourishes and pretty little mini pine cones and beaded berries and little tiny mulberry paper roses um, in between, little gifts and um, some more, um, some more um, pine cones. And then um, I had also created uh, from some twine a bow. It's like a double bow. And then I did the same thing in the opposite direction on this one. So if you look at it, you have the bows on the opposite side, the flowers, and the flourishes all pan out that they're even. And I'm just going to try something here just for the sake of it. I'm curious to see myself how it would look. In the event, if I wanted to change it up a little and turn it upside down, like maybe for a larger candle, I probably can because it still looks really, really pretty and everything is going in a different direction. Just love the way that it came out. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing my project. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, these candlestick holders are all wood and you buy them completely raw from Michael's Craft Store. You can paint them or you can spray them with uh, an acrylic paint if you like or airbrush them or um, perhaps um, uh, dye them with a, a certain kind of a, a color or a spackle like a, a wood grain. Uh, there's so many things that, that you can do. Um, you can put all sparkles on them or uh, just leave them raw and uh, they look pretty the way that they are. But I painted mine gold as I mentioned in the beginning, and added all of the flourishes, flowers, berries, and all to make it look Christmassy. So um, I would think on another note, if it's like Valentine's Day or Easter time or July 4th, you can just, uh, again, um, you know, add the right coloring and different design, and you have a whole uh, different look. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great holiday. Merry Christmas.